day started. at my location just and getting ready for the day. One thing I like to do at least once a week, if not every day, is check my fluids and everything in the engine just to make sure things are gonna be running right. I have gone through major mechanical issues since I've been in the business. I've been in the business for five years. I've had to replace the engine last year and I also had to replace my generator. Both of those things happen in two weeks time. That was brutal because each one of those were about 6,500 bucks. The engine was just kind of wore out. It was an older truck to begin with. It was time to kind of replace that anyway. But when I did that, the engine that they put in was faulty. So they took time to get that done for me. It took about a week. I took the truck out. The coolant never really stayed inside. There was some leaks. My mechanic was really awesome. So he kind of noted that immediately and sent it off to the company that the engine came from. They actually sent some information back saying that there could be a possible problem with the engine and they would replace it if need be. We kind of tried to ride it out, see if something wouldn't, see if it would kind of seal up on its own. It never did. We actually had to get another new engine. It was a week's time I was down for the first engine. The mechanic was so awesome. I dropped it off. I had a catering date for a wedding on a Sunday night. I did that. I was able to make it there. I mean, I stalled out like 15 times on the way. It was so bad. I didn't think I was going to make it, but I tried so hard to get there. It's a wedding and nobody wants to ruin a bride's wedding day, especially me. What I did was made it there. I made it all the way back to his shop. He met me there at 8.30 at night on a Sunday night and had it back to me by 5 o'clock on Monday afternoon with the other engine installed. They did such a great job and really, really took care of me. So finding a great mechanic for your food truck is very, very important. I'm just gonna run through, check my fluids, and just make sure everything is on the up and up. All of those fluids are looking good. I checked the power steering, the coolant, brake fluid and oil right now just to double check on those the transmission fluid you always have to check that when it's hot so I'll check that after I drive it out later on today and just make sure that's full and looking clean and everything remember maintenance on your truck is very very important that is how you make your money most of the time you're moving around so always get your uh, oil changed every 3,000 to 5,000 miles whatever they recommend to you generators another one if it says 150 hours change it on 100, make sure you're changing that air filter. I'm in Florida, extremely hot here, the generators take a beating. You just wanna make sure that you're, you're treating it right and it'll treat you right. I'll talking to you soon, take care.